When roaming for your next adventure, everyone needs to know that there's a great base camp to call home. Cranbrook, BC in the heart of the Kootenai Rockies couldn't be better positioned to fit that bill. With the Canadian Rockies International Airport at its doorstep, Cranbrook affords year-round adventures including outstanding snow-seeking potentials. Skiing, snowboarding and snowshoeing in places like Kimberley and Fernie are within a quick drive away. If snow is not your scene, explore the region via rock climbing, mountain biking, an abundance of golf courses, or simply take in the cultural highlights that are sure to please any vacation seeker. In this Ticket to Rome episode, Powder Matt shreds the ski gear to explore Cranbrook's options and learn from a few locals on just why this city could be one of Canada's top tourism and adventure base camps. What makes Cranbrook a good base camp for adventure? There's just everything to do. So if you love the outdoors, you have an endless list of things to do. They've got good parks for the kids, they've got the theater, you know, and then you can go to the mountains. Lots of hiking, fishing, camping. And whitewater rafting, um, fly fishing, and cross-country skiing, and biking, and snowboarding. You know, and have amazing hikes, skiing terrain, um, camping, backpacking, climbing, mountain biking. It's, it's amazing, 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 amazing. This is my backyard. Um, this is where I spend every day, every night. We craned in these logs and uh, stuck them up. All the neighbors were watching, of course, and on, wondering what the heck I was doing. And so, yeah, me and my friends, we rallied for a month straight and we, we built it and uh, it, it turned out perfectly. This, this, this keeps me busy. I don't have to leave home, which is the whole idea. I think we're gonna go this way. After taking in Gord's inspiration, Matt's gotta hit the wall for himself to understand a bit more to MacArthur's passion. Really looking forward to climbing today. I've been doing all my exercises, you know, like stretching. Well, sort of. I mean, yeah, I can't, kind of have been. And then I've been doing lunges. You know, all this kind of stuff. You know, guys, come on. A little workouts. Ready to go. Lacked Lake, it's this little anomaly of rock because we've been searching for years now to find something else like this, and there's nothing like it anywhere within three hours of hiking. So it's a really special spot. You know, um, it gives us the opportunity as climbers progressing or those who are getting into the sport to come, have fun, learn, progress. Um, try hard and it's so close to town and the climbing is actually super good quality like quartzite is always fun rock climbing so I, I train a lot I, I put a lot of time into training I dedicate a lot of my time to learning to getting better to progressing like and that's why I love climbing because there there is no end there's no oh okay I'm finished now it's always learning it's always getting better the Sochi Olympics were I mean that was an experience of a lifetime I mean we weren't there to compete we didn't get medals but um, the fact that we were still a part of it and the fact that we got to represent the sport that we love in front of literally the world um, was like surreal. It's the next best thing other than getting a medal. You know, I used to do a lot of sports like mountain biking and kayaking and skiing and all that and climbing too. And for some reason, there's something about climbing for me that um, revealed a lot about myself. Um, so a lot of what I put into climbing translates into regular life too. And that was the only sport out of what I used to do that would do that. Um, and so, um, I love the constant mental challenge of climbing. You know, you, you're, wet, you're wet my appetite for adventure. Keep on going. Tell me more about this stuff that Cranbrook has all this adventure. Well, I mean, take skiing for instance. There's got to be like seven ski resorts within two hours. You know, we've got, um, right here we've got rock climbing, we've got lakes, fishing, canoeing, hiking. We've got beautiful mountains behind us. Um, no matter where you can go, it, there's like four sports you can do at once. You, you got your own playground in your own backyard, literally and you got this playground of four season adventure all around you. There's no driving to get to anywhere really. Yep. I mean, you can get on your mountain bike, pedal for 15 minutes tops. For a little rock and roll, Matt takes to the trails to continue to explore the options right out Cranbrook's back door. The trails really are right out the backyard of the community of Cranbrook. I mean, these yep. trails start from the city. You can ride and go forever through yep. this uh, Cranbrook community forest, can't you? Yeah, uh, I grew up riding them, uh, spent a lot of days, we've uh, spent time in a lot of other great places to ride and I think actually we're quite blessed with what we have to ride here. Uh, I think if folks came they'd be surprised that once you know what trails we have here, um, yeah there's some really great riding for all skill levels and all ability. What I think is really su super cool about this place is the climate. 
Like, there's no snow, so the, tell me about the riding season here, because Cranbrook really has a, a bunch of seasons to do all kinds of sports and activities. Yeah, uh, this area up here, actually, I've ridden this area in January, I've ridden it in December, probably every month of the year. Kimberly, which has a great network of trails 20 minutes away. We have Fernie, which has a great network of trails an hour away. We've got up north in Vermeer and Fairmont, which has a great um, system, as well as two hours to the United States, uh, where there's a number of noteworthy rides. So we like biking, and we think we live in a great area for it, so we want to see it improve and get better. So the important part on this North Star uh, Rails to Trail program is the trail from Kimberly to Cranbrook is paved, and the grade is absolutely perfect yeah. for yeah. any ability, right? Oh yeah. yeah. So that would be, what I would say, a perfect family trail outing. Even some of Cranbrook's accommodation options offer their own set of unique adventures. First of all, I'm, I'm a terrible golfer anyways, but usually I do okay at mini golf, but not here. So why is that? There's a little some, yeah. something about this course. Tell me about it. <laughs> There's the people that do Tim Hortons, and they hit every Tim Hortons across the country. There's people that hit every mini golf across the country. And it's been unanimous. We've talked to about 30 over the nine years here, and everyone says without a doubt, a par 70 mini golf is the most difficult here. <laughs> 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 Mini golf, maxi frustration. Well, all I know is uh, being a hotelier and working for Weston, Four Seasons, Ritz Carlton, and there really is a bit of a combination of some of my favorite chains in, but in a reasonable price because, you know, our room rate, you know, being around that $100 mark and the hotels that we compete against. Uh, we feel that we offer a lot for that. We're hopefully gonna do at least one thing for you, one thing that's unique. You know, it could be as simple as making a restaurant reservation, or it could be a need that we've figured out that it, you require. So, you know, taking that extra step, but doing one little thing for you, and then hopefully when you've checked out, you feel that the room experience has exceeded your expectations. I just golfed 18 rounds. Wow. From the mini golf greens and these comfy digs, Matt heads out the back door of Elizabeth Lake Lodge to learn that this location has even more to squawk about. The lodge is located right on the shores of Elizabeth Lake, where Matt catches up with the Rocky Mountain naturalists. Where am I looking? Uh, what, what are we looking for? Can you guys help me out with this? Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna take the caps off might help. Yeah. It's a great bird watching area. What we like to do is like to teach people the difference and people like yourselves. We're not interested in just saying here, that's that, that's that, that's that. We want you to learn about what it's about, right? And, and how it's changing. So eventually you start doing by sound and, uh, and listening. So it's just like a slow accumulation of skills. It is, it is real simple. I think the, the first thing you need is a, a bird book and uh, a pair of binoculars and just go. It seems to me it's, it's a great uh, benefit. You get a, a wonderful social, you get a nice walk in, and you get to learn about nature and, and uh, that's a pretty cool deal. When it's time to grab some grub in Cranbrook, why not make a stop at a hideout for something truly unique? I think what they expect here is to come in and send it where there is a brewery, they expect to be a pub menu. Um, we're elevating that right now just with thinking outside the box, like with the, the beer sorbet. We're just going to take what you think should be right and completely spin it up and have fun with it. Well, we opened up in June and the idea was to provide fresh, local, homemade beer with uh, fresh local food wherever possible and uh, kind of running the scale from casual up to a little bit more fine dining and just have it be really comfortable for people of all ages. It's a lively spot. Tell us a little bit about that too because you really have created that. Being downtown, I'm, I'm very lucky that way and uh, having all ages being able to come, I decided to try and have some, see how live music uh, was received and that's been going really well so we've been doing every couple of weeks some live music and uh, 
master chef and some entertainment and so it's been a mix and we've been able to appeal to a broad range of ages. Little Jazz Orchestra, they've been awesome. They started with us back in July when we first opened already. They uh, play the first Thursday of every month. People can still have a conversation because the idea is that it is the social place to be. Not only an adventure base camp, Cranbrook's cultural options are also sure to please. Matt checks in with the Cranbrook Community Theatre to learn more. Oh, absolutely. Cranbrook actually has a really great art scene. Uh, Cranbrook Community Theatre, we've been uh, in Cranbrook for over 50 years. And lots of local bands and stuff that um, they actually even rent this theatre. They have a locals coffee house every uh, month and they come in and they bring in musicians and they play on the stage. Well, I think the art scene is important to any community because not everybody likes to go to the hockey game or they like to go to the hockey game but they want a little bit something else and so having the opportunity to go see a play especially community theater we everyone that's in this play they all live here they're in the community and we you know we're really lucky that we actually have some local playwrights um, in town as well so our season next season Oh, we're going to have one local playwright show um, premiering next season, so wow. that's going to be great. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Do you have a spot in the play for me? I I'm quick and I'm funny. Just, oh my gosh. We're going to get you to clean the stage for us oh, here. Oh, perfect. I mean, it's really important. Will you wear that hat? This, this jacket or uh, top is mm -hmm. certainly uh, a bit of a spotlight. Uh, hey, you missed a spot, huh? Whether you choose winter, spring, summer, or fall to make your next visit to the Kootenai Rockies, setting your sights on Cranbrook as your adventure or cultural base camp will not steer you wrong. I'm probably gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that was good! Oh, not from there, man. I gotta try it. Oh. <laughs> Everybody, meet my buddy, MG. Get it? Mini golf. And you know what? He's ready to rock it. <laughs>